Today, I wanna to share five ways that Command's new advanced filters can help you get engaged with your database. Consider liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and using the bell icon to never miss out on future content. Let's get started. Here we are in Command, where we're gonna go straight to the Contacts applet. Then, you can click on Filters and see the newly designed filter drawer on the right-hand side, showing you all of the options that are available today, including a brand new option called Advanced Filters. What the Advanced Filters section allows you to do is to stack multiple filters into one view, really helping you narrow that audience and find that unique set of contacts that you're looking for. Today, we're gonna go through five examples that you can use this. I'm gonna start first with looking for contacts that are registered on my agent site, however, don't have a neighborhood on their contact record. I'm gonna start by saying where agent site connection is connected. Now, I'm on a team, so this is going to be any contact in our database that I have access to that has some form of agent site connection to any of my team members. So I have my first filter where agent site connection is connected. Next, I'm gonna use the add filter option to layer in my second. This one's going to be and neighborhoods is empty. Now I'm looking for contacts in my database that have an agent site connection, but don't have any neighborhoods on their contacts profile. I can hit apply here and it's gonna narrow down and find the two contacts that I have. I can open up the contact record, search for the neighborhood that I'd like to add. Then I'm able to add them to maybe one of my smart plans, like the monthly neighborhood nurture. Next up, we're gonna look for contacts that we met at an open house, but also don't have a neighborhood associated. For this, we're gonna go back to our advanced filters where agent site is connected, neighborhood's empty. I'm gonna change my first filter. I'm gonna say lead source includes any, and then I'm gonna start typing in open house. Now I can see here are the four contacts in my database that I met at an open house. However, I don't have a neighborhood associated with their profile. I can repeat the steps like I did with the first contact, add a neighborhood, and then start them either on a safe search or a monthly or bi-weekly neighborhood nurture smart plan. Next up, we recently introduced the ability for you to import contacts directly from your phone into command using the command app. Now, I wanna show you an easy way that you can find those contacts and work through cleaning them up, adding tags, adding any missing information, and advanced filters is a really easy way to do that. Here, I'm gonna go back into my filters, and the first thing I'm gonna do is reset all of the filters here. Then, I'm gonna choose my first filter, and I'm gonna say where lead source is, includes any phone import. Next, I'm gonna stack in a second filter on, and I'm gonna say where tags is empty. What that lets me know is these contacts were imported in from my phone, but they don't have a tag associated with them. Once I find that contact set here, I can use a bulk action, and something that I like to do whenever I know a contact might not be complete is add the tag cleanup. This is a custom tag that I created in my database that allows me to quickly see, filter, and find those contacts that might have some missing information I can complete. Next up, we're gonna use this to do a little bit more database cleanup and find our unique group of closed buyers that don't have a home anniversary. Here we are back in advanced filters where I can use the little minus button on the right-hand side to eliminate a filter and then adjust the first one. We're gonna change the top filter here where the tag on a contact includes closed buyer. This is a unique tag that I add to past customers that were buyers. And then I'm gonna add a second filter where home anniversary is empty. Then once I apply this filter set, here I can find three contacts that have a closed buyer purchase, but I might've forgotten to add their home anniversary date. I'm gonna use Henry Smith here at the top and use the three dots to edit the contact where I can quickly go into the About section and add in that home anniversary date and save at the bottom. 
Now you can see Henry no longer appears in this search view, and I can repeat those steps for Linda and Sally. So far, our first four advanced filter sets only had two filters attached. What does it look like when you attach three, four, or even five? Now I wanna share with you an advanced filter set that can help you clean up your database health score. You can always check on your database health score right here inside of the reports applet. And I'm gonna go back to my home screen here where I've used the notepad widget on my dashboard to remind myself on where the command health score is built from. Here are the nine items that command looks for to complete a 100% health score. You can always find these by browsing answers.kw.com and we'll even link that article for you in the description box below this video. Let's go back to contacts though and see how advanced filters can help us identify what contacts don't have a 100% health score. Here, I'm gonna go back into filters. And in the top right, we're gonna go back into advanced filters. And I'm gonna start stacking my first filter here where I'm gonna look for birthday is empty. Then we're gonna add our next one where company is empty. Here we can look for lead source you guessed it, is empty. Primary address is empty. And tags is empty. Now, you can repeat these steps in continuing adding filters to really narrow in that audience. I'm gonna click apply here in the bottom right hand corner where we're gonna see I have three contacts that have an opportunity for me to add missing information to increase their contact health score. Now you have five ways that you can get started using Command's new advanced filters to manage your database. As you get creative, why don't you share some of the ideas that you have for leveraging advanced filters in the comment section below. We also have some videos right here that you can check out today.